this experience shaped my life and I, I hope to, to make a positive out of it. A remarkable recovery by a young man hit in the head by a line drive. From this near tragedy came success and inspiration. We're calling him a beautiful survivor. Island News reporter Melody Gonzalez joins us live in the studio with more in a monthly segment we're kicking off tonight. Melody? That's right, Paula, and it's been nearly nine years since the accident, and Ryan Nakamura never let the fear keep him from playing the game. It was his strength and determination that makes him this month's and our first beautiful survivor. A split second and my life changed forever. February 2009, Ryan Nakamura was only 13 years old, a pitcher for the Mary Knoll baseball team. He was out at batting practice when he was hit by a line drive. That ball came screaming back at me and, and struck me right around the eye area, left eye area. My head rang real loud and I was disoriented. Able to walk off the field, Nakamura told his coaches he'd be okay and just needed to sit out for a while. Fortunately, my dad, who was attending practice that day, was uh, <laughs> thought a little otherwise and, and then threw me in the back of his truck and we, we said we're going to take you to Kapiolani. Him keeping him awake in the truck because he did tell dad that he was tired, you know, and don't go sleep, don't go sleep. Basically, almost immediately after uh, Ryan presented, the emergency room physician uh, recognized that he was in an extremis. Uh, uh, he uh, was at risk for dying. Doctors say Nakamura had suffered an acute intracranial hemorrhage. That person is bleeding in their head, and that blood is accumulating so fast that it's putting pressure on their optic nerve. Additionally, the young teen had a skull fracture and optic nerve damage. Rushed into the operating room, medical experts at Kapiolani Medical Center worked to stop the internal head bleed and save Nakamura's life. He had a stroke as well, uh, and so uh, he needed to be in the ICU for a number of weeks. 42 staples later, Ryan lay unconscious in the pediatric intensive care unit as he began his road to recovery. You know, here's my baby, here's my oldest kid, and I said it's one of those life happenings that you remember forever. Nakamura spent several weeks regaining consciousness. There was really, you know, no moment of really waking up. Um, I was just kind of there and I wasn't. And once he was able to communicate, despite all that had happened, he made it known that he still had the love of the game in his heart and on his mind. It was, it was wanting to get back to playing as soon as possible. And, um, I, you know, I, 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 you got you to gotta respect and admire that kind of drive. It was, it was something uh, to get over mentally and um, to challenge myself to, to say, you know, you're, you're there, you're fully recovered, um, um, everything's going to be okay. Just one year after the accident, through strength and perseverance, Nakamura threw on his uniform, grabbed a glove, and stepped back on the field. So we were very nervous and uh, every time a ball came to him, I just, just thought the ball, you know. Nakamura went on to play baseball at Whittier Community College in California. Today, the recent college grad says he is thankful for a second chance at life. He has a constant reminder of just how lucky he is. I'm greeted every day with a, with a nice little scar on my head, um, but you know, I really look at that as a symbol of perseverance. Nakamura is now pursuing a career in medicine. The field of medicine has given me so much in terms of you know life to live, um, you know people to see and things to do, and so I thought, what better way to to do my life's work than to, to reciprocate that, you know, that care and and, and um, that effort to save someone's life. Now, Ryan told me just a couple of weeks ago he met Dr. Morita, the neurosurgeon who saved his life. He actually got to meet him for the very first time. He says he can't thank Dr. Morita and Dr. Harrington enough for all that they have done. When you listen to all of them and what they have to say about, about him and about just that perseverance and maybe that goal for baseball really helped him as well. Oh, yeah, and you can just see the way he just looks at life is completely mm -hmm. different. It's really inspiring. All right, good story. Looking forward to meeting more of our beautiful survivors. Yes.